Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. I recently picked up a lot of things from Sephora, beauty, hair care, and skin care. Some of the products are new that I've never tried before and some of the products I've had before and I've loved them so much I actually decided to repurchase them. So I have everything right here in this really big box. And everything that's new I've tried to give a little bit of a test run to just so I can give you guys my first impressions of them. But as always, before we get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here and I would love for you to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload new videos every week on beauty, fashion, and luxury and I would love to have you back here. And if you end up enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Alright, so let's get into the Sephora haul. And if you guys are interested in any of these products, I will link them all down below in the description box. Alright, so the first product that I picked up was this Dior Addict Lip Glow in the color 001 Pink. And this is just kind of a balm for your lip that you put on. This is something new that I've tried out. I hadn't had this before and it is in this light pink color. And I absolutely have been loving this product. It actually looks different on each and every person. And here it is swatched on my wrist. It doesn't have much of a pigmentation. <clears throat> It looks different on each and every person because it brings out the natural color of your lip and it keeps them very hydrated and very moist. So they look really, really great and I've absolutely been loving this product and I can actually see myself repurchasing this whenever I run out. And the next product that I picked up was another Dior lip gloss and this is the Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in the color 686 Fancy. And I saw this online and it looks like a very pretty magenta color and I've been looking for a magenta colored lip gloss so I decided to order this. And whenever it came in and I put it on, it looked really glittery, almost like too glittery. And at first I didn't like it but then I started to pair it on top of other lipsticks and I absolutely love it now. I'm wearing it today just so you guys can see how it's not too glittery once you put it on top of a lipstick. And the applicator for this lip gloss is amazing. It's so luxurious. It's almost just kind of like a paintbrush that you just paint onto your lips. And I've really been loving the applicator on it. And as you can see, it's just kind of a light pink color with a little bit of glitter and shine to it. So I've really been enjoying it now and I can definitely see myself trying other Dior lip glosses now that I've really enjoyed this one. And then the next two Dior products are two things that I have repurchased and one of them is a lash primer that you put on your eyelashes before you put your mascara on. And here it is right here. And I've been able to tell a difference from whenever I apply this to my lashes before my mascara as to whenever I don't. And there is the applicator. My lashes definitely look more long and they look like they have more volume whenever I use this lash primer. So if you guys are looking for a good lash primer, I do recommend this one. And the last Dior product was the Dior Show Mascara in the color 090 Black. And I go back and forth between the Dior Show Mascara or the Iconic Dior Mascara. And here is the wand. It's a really thick wand and I do find that this mascara makes your eyelashes appear longer, fuller, and thicker. So I really love this Dior mascara and it is a recommendation from me as well. And uh, moving on to other lip products. You guys know that I love lip products. Um, I picked up another YSL lipstick and this is actually a repurchase in this color. This is in the color number 8, uh, Pink and Confidence. And this is kind of just a nude pink color. And I like to wear this more as an everyday lipstick. It's not overpowering at all. It is a really great lipstick just to wear as an everyday lipstick. And all YSL lipsticks that I have ever tried make your lips feel very hydrated. And they are so silky smooth on your lips. So I really, really, I really love wearing them. They don't dry out your lips at all. And the next color that I picked up is a new color for me. And this is in the number 43, Rose Riv Gauche. And this is more of a coral pink color. And I thought this would be really great for the spring and summertime. So I'll swatch that for you guys as well. And it's right there, the last one. 
I love to wear pink, so as you can see. And the other thing about YSL lipsticks is not only do they feel amazing on your lips, but the packaging is just so gorgeous. I love the gold tube that it comes in, and they also try to put the color of the lipstick underneath the YSL logo. So the packaging is absolutely stunning, which helps with the price tag. <laughs> and then finally, the last makeup product that I purchased was the Cover FX Cream Foundation in the color N20. And this is a very high coverage foundation, but what I love about this foundation since I've purchased, I've repurchased this, is that you can put just a little bit on or you can build it up and put a lot. So much to where you can cover a tattoo if you want it to. It's that high coverage. And I've tried to find other foundations that are just as high coverage as this one, but I haven't been able to find anything that I like just as much as this high coverage foundation. So that's the makeup part of the Sephora haul. Let's move on to the skincare. And the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is this Glam Glow mask kit right here. I was really wanting to try out a Glam Glow mask, but I didn't know which one I wanted to purchase. So I picked up this kit right here, and it has three of their different masks. So there's one, which is the Super Mud, which is the clearing treatment, a Thirsty Mud, which is the hydrating treatment and the Youth Mud, which is an exfoliator treatment. And I have tried the Thirsty Mud, and it was pretty hydrating, so I need to test out the other two. But I thought this was a really great purchase instead of just buying all the separate Glam Glow masks because they are kind of pricey. So I was really excited whenever I saw this, and so far I do like the Thirsty Mud. So I'll let you guys know how I like the other two. And then I picked up a Sephora Green Tea face mask. And I picked up this green tea one because I had bought the pink one, which is like a brightening one. And I put it on and it's a sheet mask. And I was so surprised at how much product is actually in this face mask and how saturated it was. It was really, really great. I enjoyed the face mask and I definitely did see a difference in my skin. I definitely thought that it looked brighter. So I thought that I would try this green tea face, um, green tea face mask as well. And then the last of the skincare is actually a self tanner and this is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse and I also bought the hand applicators to give it a more of a smooth application onto my skin but I'm waiting to try this out once the spring and summertime comes. So I'll let you guys know how I like this. I read a lot of great reviews and heard a lot of recommendations from my friends on the Saint Tropez brand. And finally on to hair care. I picked up this GHD curling iron and I am so obsessed with it. It's the most amazing curling iron I've ever had in my life. And it has a really sleek and chic modern design to it. It heats up so quickly. I would say in less than five seconds, it is ready to curl. It's so lightweight and the heat is even throughout the whole barrel. I had originally purchased the T3 curling wand with the three separate barrels and it wasn't giving me the full effect that I wanted it to. So I couldn't justify keeping it for the money that it cost. So I returned it and I actually picked up this one and I love it. I cannot rave about it enough. And I can't wait to try some other GHD products. This curling iron, just in case you guys are wondering in comparison to the T3, um, this heats up faster. It is hotter and it's more lightweight than the T3. So I absolutely love this curling iron. And I do have another T3 curling iron that I use, but right now this one is becoming my new favorite. So if you guys are interested in trying out any of their products, I do recommend that brand. And the last hair care product that I picked up was this Phyto Paris Ultra Glossening Finishing Serum. I was noticing whenever I would watch my YouTube videos that I had a lot of flyaway hairs and new growth. So I decided to pick up this hair serum right here. And this has been really great. It helps to tame your flyaways and it also gives your hair an extra shine. So this has really been great for all of the new growth that my hair is experiencing. And that is it for the Sephora haul, you guys. I would love to hear what your favorite products are to buy from Sephora. I'm always looking to try new things. And if you guys ended up liking this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back here. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.